months back, we were approached by the World Series of Poker folks. They wanted us to build a custom shop that captures the vibe of being a champion. We were given 100% complete freedom on this build to do what we want to do. So this thing is going to be cool, but it ain't going to be a billboard. And Ryan, he's got a wicked paint job that he's wrapping around the whole concept of a cool gas tank that Shannon found. Poker Jack is back in the shop here today to see his bike. What's happening, Jack? Man, I am so excited about today, and I can't wait for him to check it out. I know he's going to dig it. So, Jack, tell me about the purpose for this bike. We wanted the person riding this bike to feel like a World Series of Poker champion. You jump on, and you ride off into the sunset. I guarantee you something here, man. You're not going to want to give this thing away. No, no, you're not. Well, I might just have to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a hard time handing it over right now. Jack, you ready to see this bike? Oh, I'm excited. Let's see it. Shannon, come on, brother. Roll that beautiful bike out. Oh, listen to it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Unbelievable. To build the ultimate champion's chop, Shannon started with a six down and three out frame paired with a 21 over Sugar Bear front end to make sure this baby handles like a dream. 125 cubic inch motor, beautiful diamond gas tank and custom fitted pipes has her looking and sounding mean when she's cruising down the road. But this baby doesn't only ride great, she also looks like nothing you've ever seen. Ryan took this paint job to the next level. He started off with sleek black face highlighted with a bright red pinstripe and added amazing poker-inspired 3D graphics to that rear fender. And no champion's bike is complete without the World Series of Poker Chips subtly hidden underneath the seat. Man, this bike is so beautiful, I'm already jealous of whoever wins it. Man, this bike looks amazing. I mean, I, I want to put my hands all over it. <laughs> like, this thing, this thing just looks unbelievable. Look mm -hmm. at the raised diamonds on the gas tank. The WSOP chip. Look at this. Look at the bracelet. This is the champion's bike. Nice. Shannon, walk Jack through the mechanical, mechanical. side of this bike. Well, the frame is a six down, three up. What that means is the way the frame is, it's taller. So those down tubes have been stretched six inches longer. And when he says three out, the backbone is stretched three inches forward. So that makes the bike taller and longer. Puts that whole frame out there, which allows for that beautiful front end. The gas tank, it's a one of a kind. It's not just a paint, it's raised. So you can kind of feel yeah. That is slick. <laughs> this thing is practically carved. We started with the gas tank. That was the first one that we've come across, and it's got you know all the raised diamonds. And transitioning that to the fender, I can't just make a fender look like that. Once all the primer was down and all the graphics were laid out in primer, then I had everything cosmochromed. So the whole bike, the tank and the fender and the oil tank, all were chrome before I even started painting. All of these things, I mean, they, they've literally been sculpted. All the little designs wanted to be like jewelry, so everything was very subtle. This is a masterpiece, Dan. Thank you. That's the team. Try it on. Try it on. Oh. See how it fits. Oh, I thought you would never ask. <laughs> yeah. So you can even ride it with a suit on. A suit? You know, I might be an executive during the day, but when it comes to riding a motorcycle, there you go. nobody needs a there jacket, no, right? I mean, you know, who a needs a jacket, jacket when you're going to ride something like this? Now, try it out. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep Jack away from this bike long enough for them to give this baby away. She just came out gorgeous, man. We were dealt a challenge. We stepped up. We went all in. As far as I'm concerned, we hit the jackpot. Whoever wins that bike, they really are going to feel like a champion right now. Oh, yeah. No doubt.